everybody, welcome back to another live commentary event. This time we're back with uh, the Mini Coopers. So this is the Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup. Uh, we're round nine tonight at Goodwood Motor Circuit. We're just waiting for qualifying to get underway. Should only be a minute or so away now. Um, the room settings will change and the guys will get underway 15 minutes of quali. So I'm just going to be quiet a minute while I just share some links around. So I can only do this when we are live. So bear with me. And I'll just get this sorted. that's in that page and then I'll just go to next gen racing so if you like what you see on the show tonight um, just give next gen racing on Facebook a bit of love uh, go and join up the Facebook page uh, get involved in some of the events they do they do a lot of cross platform stuff so um, if GT Sport isn't your thing then they're starting to do events on PC um, if you like your Forza play on that if you like your Project Cars too they do events on that as well so there's um, there's, there's plenty of opportunity to get involved let me just do this so we're live round nine of the Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup from Goodwood. Perfect. Uh, right, so anyone who tuned in to the Sirocco Cup recently, I know it was a bit of a, um, not a crap race, but... It was a bit of a non-event because of um, certain technical issues that PlayStation Network was experienced that night. Um, yeah, we, we, you'll have seen that I was doing some sort of fancy new stuff with the replays and the onboard cameras and stuff like that. So we're going to give that another bash tonight. It's only attempt two, so it, it's going to go horribly wrong. Uh, so we're live on YouTube. CJW Racing. So I may know for misspelling. There we go. <laughs> right then, so I think qualifying's about to get underway. Uh, looks like we've got... Some, yeah, there we go. So we've currently got eight guys in the room, because I don't count. So I'll use the 15-minute quali to um, to test some stuff out. So just to give you a bit of an insight into um, what they'll be racing tonight and how it all goes. So you're in for two races. <clears throat> so they're about to do qualifying for the first race, which is 10 laps. Uh, the first race is more of a sprint, so they don't want to do any strategy in this. Um, so we'll just we will be looking at um, they'll simply be looking at one sort of tyre setting for it, which I think is the mediums from memory. Uh, race two, they can use any racing tyre they want. Um, probably going to force a bit of pit stop strategy as well, like it has done before. Um, the cars themselves, the Mini Cooper S2005 versions, have got 150 brake horsepower, they weigh just over a ton. Uh, stock set up for suspension and everything else, um, and the guys will be battling against 10 times tyre wear and 8 times fuel as well. So for every lap they do, their tyres will degrade 10 times quicker than they should normally do, and the fuel play 8 times. So it does get quite challenging, because one thing I um, commented on, uh, in last week's race and it, it was sort of evident by the way that the lads were driving alright burnt fire how are you doing um, yeah so kind of evident by the way a lot of them were struggling is that every single lap you do we'll just go on board while we talk um, every single lap you do of the track your tyres are different for every you know if you go around turn 1 on lap 7 the grip you've got on turn 8 is nowhere near the same Okay, so I'll just talk to you about um, the circuit then. So, um, Goodwood is, is quite historic. A lot of people will immediately jump to the hill climb, the Festival of Speed event. Um, the Goodwood circuit you see now is um, it, it also host to uh, what we call the Goodwood Revival, as we see phrases as taking a walk on the grass, um, which is sort of for antique classic cars. Um, Race tracks, uh, 1940s, I think it was incepted, um, and was actually formed out of the perimeter of an RAF airfield. Um, so there's a lot of tracks in in the UK. Our Silverstone, one of them, I think, um, based around an old World War Two airbase. Um, so that's, that's quite a lot of history, I guess. Um, so obviously you've got history, you got. Um, Let's have a look, I'm just looking at that, perfect, and in fact I'll skip that bit because I don't need to go on it, so that's that lovely stuff, so I'm just going to get my replay shortcuts up, 
Scar was please that was that lap time. Okay. <coughs> right, so I'll get my keyboard shortcuts up. How you doing Jordan anyway? You watching this? You on the way. Three weekends on a row we're going to change it, looking at weekend now and stuff, students and users. <laughs> so I'll just get a message from someone at work about a um, the thing they're doing. Quite entertaining. So what we'll do in a second, we'll just jump on board with probably Fraser because he was first out. And um, just go for a lap of Goodwood. So let me see if I can just do this. So if I go on K, there we go, look at that. Oh, I can do this now. Mad Marshall, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Right, so let's go for a lap of Goodwood. So the first corner we come to is Madrick, so it's a bit of a double apex right hand. It's it's undulating all the way though, so as you can see the, the track's up and down all over the place. It does unsettle the car. The minis do ride this out quite well though, it's not too bad. Um the next corner which is Ford Water, another right hander, it's quite flat out in these, you, you don't need to lift um, in pretty much any cars. The next corner for me is the trickiest, so you've got a um, sort of a right hander into St Mary's and then an, an almost immediate left, so this does want to throw the car off quite a lot. You've then got a little bit of a crest of a hill. I uh, see the mini bugging down a little bit. Oh, what's happened here? <coughs> I don't think Fraser was on the car. I don't think Fraser's happy. That seemed like quite a good lap. Um, anyway, we'll talk you through the lap again when it does finally come out. Let me just click back in. Anyway, let's go on Cutler. So Cutler, as we commented last week, is actually one in the livery that Chloe Hewitt runs in the Mini Cooper in the Challenge. So the livery you see on his car today is the actual livery that Chloe uses. If you hear me eating, by the way, I've got a bowl of Ben and Jerry's and whatever, and it's cooking the ice cream, it's the best thing in the world, I recommend you try it. So I'm just going to eat that before it melts. I'll try and talk you through the lap at the same time. You don't see Crofty doing this on F1, do you? Eating ice cream, or sat on a gaming chair. Anyway, so this rough day I've got two before, so this um, next corner is Levant. <coughs> you sort of think it's one, if you get this right, it's, it's it is one. <laughs> But it's technically two corners, um, so if you click the apex is just right, you can sort of make it into one, and you can make a lot of time up there if you carry the speed through there correctly. You, you, you know, you're absolutely fine. Um, onto the Levant straight, then uh, quite an open, open bit of road. Uh, coming down, down into Woodcut, so you pretty much cut this straight. You'll just spot your breaking point again. It's a bit of a double apex, so you can cut that bit there and then straight in. Uh, cut this just run this one just a little bit wide right here and then the chicane uh, I think whoever was naming corners just got a bit bored by that point um, and just decided to go for the chicane so let's um, get back to my replay camera so if I click H it should do there we go look at this another little function I like which um, I know this is you know it's not geeky or anything but just being able to do that and then when they've set lap times, because obviously they've all done the lap, uh, out laps now, I'll show the best lap times on there as well. I've been reliably informed. Um, so let's have a quick flip through the pack then. So um, in us tonight, we've got Njar Cutler. And uh, winner's next out on track. Um, in the Genesis themed Mini Cooper. Uh, Jake Cart is out there as well. Uh, F12. We've got Njar Happy in the Mintex Liverwood one. Revolver going a little bit slowly, but keeping out of the way. And we've got Big Bad Bud, uh, a gentleman we're very familiar with from our time in the GT3s. Uh, Scar Wars, uh, currently uh, just on his outlap as well. And Banana Split, uh, getting getting that mini up on three wheels. So. Cutler's about to start, uh, he's, he's about to go, well, he's about to set his, his first time lap. So let's see what this one is. I'll just spill ice cream down myself. Tastes just came very nicely. I think the quickest time I saw was Fraser set a 126. I did a lap, as Cutler does a 129. Let me just test this out. It doesn't work yet. Um, Cutler does a 129. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me 
just set something else up. Seems a little bit buggy. Hopefully it'll get fixed. Uh, as I was saying, F12, uh, 127.1, and I've seen him go quicker than that as well. <coughs> so they're all qualifying on the same tyre, the medium. All right, so there should be no sort of tyre strategy playing into this one. Uh, if you're watching the live stream, you just let me know what the volume's like. Uh, if the volume is acceptable. Because I'm trying to keep the microphone at a distance where I can eat ice cream and talk at the same time. So, just approaching four minutes into quality then. It's like I say, a good, a good lap time. Um, anything south of 1.30 can be classed as a good lap time because that's what I managed and I'm the benchmark for this one. Volume's good. Cheers. Appreciate it. Uh, so, let's have a quick flip through the field and give everyone a little bit of air time as we go through. So, currently in pole position, uh, got F12 with a 127.1. Uh, Cutler uh, is... Just managed to improve his time a little bit. He's now on a 129.2. Currently in second position. Still in the first row of the grid. Second row of the grid we've got uh, Happy. I'm afraid he's just been outdone by this man, Joanna. Uh, who's done a 128.9. Uh, he now demotes Cutler to the second row of the grid. And he uh, will be joining Fraser at the top. Uh, NGR Happy. Uh, South African. He is... Uh, running in the 129s currently, so we'll be looking to uh, to improve on that time. He's got a little bit of time to do that. And uh, currently in fifth place, we've got Banana Split. Does manage to improve his time in lap number three. It goes to 129.7. And we've got Jake Carty there in six. So he's done a 132.2, so he'll be eager to get himself up the leaderboard a little bit. And uh, Big Bad Bud in 7th position currently on a 135.7 we know from our GT3 league this, this guy is a fast guy so hopefully he can get himself back in the mix as he just gets himself a bit out of shape uh, coming through Woodcut uh, Revolver has set a 138 and Scar Wars a 140 uh, TC Fredo uh, as we know from last week is oh here you are about five. I don't know you're joining us. Go on, Jake. Yeah, go on. I'll give Jake a bit of coverage in a minute, shall? Um, so yeah, TC Fredo. Just uh, for, for anyone that wasn't watching last week, is the brother of Chloe Hewitt, who is the real life Mini Cooper Challenge competitor, um, who has uh, sponsored this event and is uh, is obviously. I'm hoping if you watch it, if Chloe ends up watching this, can you get her to drop a little comment just so I just so I can see. I do like chatting to real life racers. So, let's get back up. So, Fraser has managed to make an improvement. Um, he's currently trying to put Cutler off. Lovely little shot, that, to be fair. Just a shame I can't use that in my thumbnail because it won't be recorded. So, um, one thing to note, though, as they all go flying off the track, is this man, Banana Split has managed to get himself into the 128s and into second place so uh, from memory he was languishing down in the 129s a minute ago and he's now got himself up there so well done banana splits good lap uh, Joanna is still in third and Cutler is in fourth hoping to get a little bit of I'm going to say slipstream um, because these cars are effectively shaped like a cardboard box, slipstream isn't really that effective. You're still going to get a lot of wind buffeting on these cars the second you go up with any sort of speed. Um, and, and yeah, they're not they're not really going to benefit from too much slipstream. The straights here aren't really straights either, so um, it's going to be difficult to improve. But let's see if um, if our mate Cutler does manage to improve his 129.2. He does, but he doesn't take. He takes less than a tenth off it, so he's just closing in on Joanna at this minute in time. So. About halfway through qualifying. Let's jump back out to the external cameras. Let's check in with your mate Jake, who just comes through to finish his fifth lap of qualifying. I've been setting personal best lap times from what I can see. Got to improve on 132. He does, he shaves two seconds off. I don't know, 1.3 seconds off that time. He does stay in eighth, but he takes a massive chunk um, out of the cars up ahead. So, uh, really good lap, that lap time there. Let's just jump on board with Jake a minute. 
Um, and while you're doing, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to eat some more ice cream because it's turning into a drink as we talk. Kill drift, nice. Okay. Another thing I have is the ability to do replays, but it doesn't work in this sort of free run bit. It only works when I'm spectating a race, but I'll be able to do replays in that. Mm. What else have I got? I can do rear view. Not that. Mm. F9, what's that? Oh yeah, I can just completely remove that. Wicked. Okay, so Jake's come around to finish off another lap. Let's see what he manages to do. Does he improve? He bloody well does as well. Get that lap time up there, 130.3. Massive chunk of time off, Jake. Well done, mate. That was a stonking lap. We were on board with you for most of that, and it was a pleasure to watch, mate. Um, so, we've got about 10 minutes left. So, a quick run through the pack then. So, we'll go back up to F12. I've got to ignore my ice cream here. Evening 18 out. Uh, remind me what your uh, real life name is, mate, because you've commented on a few things now, and I remember talking. I think I've spoke to you in page, haven't I? Oh, I've got one here. It's a massive, got a massive chunk of cookie dough on it. Right, so after I've now set in personal best times. So this could be a good lap. He's got a 126.9 to beat. Cool. I've been taking time out of him. So does he manage to beat his 126.9? He does. He goes one into the 125s. The first time I've seen anyone go into the 125s. Fantastic lap there by F12. Yeah, that pulls him into a 1.6 second gap to your man Cutler. Uh, ben Fino, I've not really given much coverage to at this stage, but he's gone straight out and into the 127s. As I hear my daughter drop something in the room next door. Right, I haven't managed to clock his set to times. Uh, let's see if he's improving this one, but it does look like a decent lap. Can Cutler get himself up there? He's gone into the 126 as he demotes Cutler down onto the second row of the grid. Uh, so at the minute, Burnt Fine on his third, the first, third, I will get it right, third lap out, uh, puts himself in second place. Spencer, yeah, I've, I've spoken to you, Spencer, how you doing, mate? You alright? I am going to end up drinking this ice cream later on, I? I just want to get it eaten before the race. See how everyone's getting on. Oh, no, don't want that. Mm -hmm. Bud's going off road him. Yeah, mate, grass is awful. So, <clears throat> my nickname for this track is uh, Willow Springs with Grass. Um, I've done two laps in the Mini on here, and the Mini doesn't like braking, does it? All right, on here, on the undulating corner, it, it just that back end steps out, and you've got no rear end grip. So God knows what's going to be like with tyre later on. So um, Fraser getting a 125 out there is, is bloody impressive. Cutler's just typing at the minute because he's, uh, he's he's just in slow-mo mode. A couple of minutes left to quality, probably enough time to get a couple of laps in. 
so Joe Winner has just done his personal best, a 127.8, so that's good enough at the minute for fourth place. He's, uh, he's got a bit of chunk of time to make up to cut that, um, but a good lap nevertheless. Um, Banana Split, who's currently trying to kill Marshalls at the side of the track, is on a 128.5 currently at his best lap. Uh, and you're happy. Uh, just gone back out, just gone back in the pits, but uh, he's 1.2 seconds off fifth at the minute, so could do with making use of this last bit of qualifying to really stick a lap together. Uh, big bad bud. Sort of a bit of gap either way. 130.4 is a respectable time. Uh, again, he'll be looking to uh, to see if he can improve on that time. Uh, TC Freddo now and his, and his cheetah. Um, cheetah livered mini. And um, again, sort of two seconds either side of him. So, a pretty secure time. He's up on his personal best, but uh, not by a drastic amount. All right, Revolver. Uh, currently 1.34 is his best time so far. So, we'll see if he can stick something better together in the uh, coming laps to get himself up the grid. And Jake Hart is parked up and he's having an ice cream. Making a phone call in that uh, red phone box behind you see there. And he's, um, yeah, he's gone to get himself a Pims and Lemonade. Let's rejoin the action. Uh, with Fraser at the top then, see if he can uh, put a better lap, put another lap together, he doesn't, he clips the chicane. Uh, 15 minutes is up then, so that seems to be qualifying over and done with. Bet Fry has managed to, to go even faster, uh, putting a 126.703. So, uh, another good lap, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how, um, there's a lot of guys that, uh, that are setting similar lap times. Uh, going on board with laps is going to be interesting because I can get really, um, really involved in the process as we go. So it's going to be a little bit rusty. Anyone watching? I know I've got to six or seven people tuning in watching us right now. Hello to anyone that is watching. Um, it's only my second race using the proper um, spectating functions. So forgive me if they're a bit rusty. If there's anyone in particular you want some coverage on, please shout out in the comments. I know we've had a bit of support for Jake already. Um, I uh, I know Mad Marshall's going to be cheering cheering Burnt Fry on, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Just remind me to set replay markers and all that jazz. My tells as well as we go. Okay, let's see what's going on. I was just waiting for uh, Cutler to set the grid order. Uh, probably going to watch Burnt Fry do a practice start. Is he going to do a practice start? Go on, do a practice start. Do a practice start. Do a practice start. Go on. Go on. Go on, lad. Go on. Uh, oh. He's using traction control, you absolute wimp. Traction control on one of 50 horsepower mini. You can't pull the skin off a rice pudding in that thing. Anyone but Bert Fry. <laughs> As in, he's knocking over size, mate. I think you say, I think he'll be alright. Yeah, just as we wait for Cutler, let's just have a bit of flick through the cameras and see what's happening out on track. Uh, I'm going to say Fredo's taking it remotely seriously, but I don't think he is. Banana Swift. <laughs> what's going on? It's mini madness. Revolver, mate. Don't sweat it, pal. Running out. Alright. So, 10 laps of Goodwood. No tyre wear. Sprint race. Let's see what happens. Here we are at Goodwood round nine of the Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup. F12 is going to um, get us underway, hopefully. Hope everyone gets a safe one down into the first turn. Let's see how we get on. So the lights are out and away we go. Cutler gets a really good start. He's going to cling onto the back. Burt is going to have to cover him off in one way or another. Everyone seems to get away quite well. Scar was at the 
back gets an excellent start and he's got to be immediately challenging to get himself up the pack so we've got F12 now leading us from Burnt Fly to Cutler to Joanna top four places covered see someone going off in the background there that's Big Bad Bud uh, just takes a trip on the grass it's easy to get a tyre on the grass here and um, and lose positions meanwhile NGR Happy's under absolute assault by Scar Wars and Fredo Scar Wars who started at the bottom of the grid um, has made himself like four places up uh, in the first two quarters, first two corners, fantastic move. Let's catch up with action at the front then. So F12 is currently defending hard to Burnt Fly, um, who's gonna be wanting to get himself um, uh, away quickly. I think that's Revolver there going cutting the grass in the background. Um, so let's have a quick look through now. So we've got Burnt Fly leading the pack away. Uh, sorry, uh, Fraser leading the pack away from Burnt Fly. Uh, Cutler and Joe, uh, sorry, Cutler trying to get in on the action. Uh, but currently being under pressure from Banana Split and Joanna. Uh, Banana Split just gets a little tap out onto the grass. That was a very narrow circuit. It's good wood, so it's very hard to make an, a, you know, a legitimate move around here. Uh, NGR Happy in seventh, building that gap to the pack that's forming behind him, comprised of Fredo, Jake, Carty, Big Bad Bud, uh, and Revolver, who seems to have had that off. But uh, just put yourself in some consistent laps, mate, and you'll be absolutely fine. Meanwhile, left 12 under pressure now for Burnt Fry. We'll just uh, hopefully go on board with Burnt Fry. If I can, yeah, perfect stuff. Look at this. This is fantastic. I've got my finger on the replay button as well. So Burnt Fry, as you can see, there's not a lot of room to get a move done on here. You've really got to make your move stick as well. Uh, very easy to understeer and go wide. Fraser goes defensive. Have a look. So as he come down into St Mary's, probably the best overtaking opportunity. But if I makes it stick, let's go and have a look at that move. So yeah, Burnfire just sticks it down the inside, just gets the traction, forces Fraser into a wide move, and fantastic little move there by Burnfire. Well done, mate. So that's Burnfire now into the lead. F12. These two are breaking away from the pack a little bit. So let's go back to Banana Split, who's uh, made himself go up into third at the expense of Cutler. Battle for fifth is really hotting up. Fredo and Happy having a proper ding dong battle of it. Trying to get themselves up there. Now they're coming down the Levant straight, so the longest straight on the track. If you're going to get a move done, uh, the end of here is also a very good a sort of heavy braking opportunity and a, an ability to get yourself up a position or two. Fredo goes, he's got a penalty, so Happy can sort of insert himself inside for the want of a better word. Uh, Jake Cart is just letting this pack escape from him he could really do with keeping on their tails because uh, he's got a very feisty Joanna behind him for company uh, Joanna looks like he's going to make a move he's got a much better run out of that corner so Jake's going to have to put a fight up here but unfortunately Joanna gets the move done uh, just before the move's done all the while Scar Wars there has had a little bit of an issue somewhere because he's um, he was if you remember um, a couple of laps ago fighting for fifth um, seems to have had an issue. Meanwhile, Big Bad Bud's also done the same, and he's on a bit of a recovery race right now. I can see some damage to the back of that to that car, so um, looks like he's been involved in something. Meanwhile, race for the race for first place is hot enough. Fantastic! His F12 sends it down the inside into the Levant corner. Let's have another quick look at that. All right, so let's just go on board then. And yeah, he just gets he just gets the move done nice and easily then to the Levant corner. But is he going to get to keep it? Burnt fight. He's not going to let this go away without a fight. Cutler's made himself uh, made his way back up into third now. Um, obviously, must have got past Banana Split at some point. Meanwhile, Fredo's still hanging on to the coattails. He's only half a second. Well, he's um, sorry. He's only half a second behind as he'll come through the chicane. Fredo's still carrying that penalty, so he'll need to get rid of that at some point if he's uh, if he wants to stay on the back of back of these guys because that will round itself up quite nicely. Uh, Cutler, meanwhile, has got um, got a bit of a gap building up to the guys in first and second, so he's going to want to escape now. Uh, and using these guys fighting, let's just have another look at that because that looked quite tasty. Banana split just tries to go around the outside. Fredo just holds his line. It's, it's a difficult corner to Like I said, the car is just upset every single time you go around that corner. It 
doesn't want to take it how you want it to be taken. So that's TC Fredder now up into fourth position. Fantastic race for him so far. As he drifts that, that's a fantastic car. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail. I think that's a great camera angle. Um, as he drifts his mini. Uh, well, I'm loving this. This is great stuff. I don't normally like this. Um, let's have a bit of a flick through the pack then. Just see what see what's going off. I think most of the action's sort of settled down now. So let's just see who's where. So we've got Joanna in sixth. Uh, we've got NGR happy um, chasing them down in seventh. Um, Jake Carty uh, in eighth. Built up a big gap tonight behind him, so he'll, uh, he's got a bit of a mission on to catch the guys ahead, but he's certainly capable of doing just that. Uh, Scar Wars in ninth, had a bit of a race to forget so far, don't forget, did qualify at the bottom. Uh, sorry, not qualify, wasn't able to qualify, so started at the back of the grid, so in fairness, if we're looking at it objectively, anything that isn't last is an improvement. Uh, big Bad Bud in 10th position as we speak with Revolver in 11th. Meanwhile F12's made his way back up but Burnt Fry, is, I just saw a little change in the lead that these two are absolutely going at it. It's, there's never been anything to separate them. That's a fantastic move by Burnt Fry as he just sends one up the inside. So let's have a another little look at that. Just got the move done. Just got the move done into St Mary's. That's, he's done that move twice now. Meanwhile, Fraser's going to try and come back at him. Um, this is another. This is obviously the Levant straight. It's where they can get the most speed up. If you're going to get an overtaking move done, this is one of the ideal ways to do it. If Tom manages to get the move done before the braking zone, he's got the inside line. Can he hold it? Is he going to understeer off? Will Bert Fry get the cut back? Will we find out? I think there's just a little bit of a tap there. Nothing to separate these guys. Absolutely nothing to separate these guys. Fantastic racing and it's great to watch. So keep this up. I think that these guys are just going to have it out for the rest of time. I think if we left these guys out there all day, they'd still be battling like this uh, for all of eternity. So, uh, for fear of missing out on everyone else, let's just flip back to the pack and see what else is going on. I think Revolver has left the room now whether that's a disconnect or not I'm not too sure. Right, let's just go back and cover some of the other guys. So Cutler's managed to keep that gap to Fredo relatively stable. Um, Fredo is chasing him down though. Has managed to burn a lot of that penalty off. Uh, as I see a little bit of fight be going off between Joanna and Banana Split as Joanna makes a move. <clears throat> is he going to be able to get that one carried out? He's going to have to break in zone into St Mary's to consider. The car does not like breaking here. Um, so I think Joanna just backs out of that one quite sensibly. Um, and will probably eye up a move down the Levant straight. Probably the best way to get that one done. Right, and you're happy now, sort of in a developing a bit of a race of his own now the guys in front are sort of start, starting to escape a little bit um, and he's building up that gap to Jake behind him, Jake obviously as we said we, we really wanted him to get involved in that uh, mix but instead um, he's let Scar Wars catch up behind him uh, Scar Wars in ninth with Big Bad Button in 10th uh, doing a little bit of off-road in there mate uh, meanwhile guess what, Burnt Fly and Fraser will not be separated Burnt Fry looks to move for the inside, just thinks better of it. I think this isn't really the corner where overtakes are made. Um, you, you're probably better off waiting uh, either for St Mary's if you're ballsy or the fun if you want it to be a bit more solidified. So as these guys come down now into St Mary's, the big braking zone, so you've got a, a fast left-hander followed by a tight right hand and both as you can see by the undulation of the circuit it really unsettles the car Fraser just manages to keep it but Burnfight is not letting him get out of his sight this is a this is going to be a race to the line these guys uh, keeping it nice and clean though as you would expect uh, from the next gen racing boys uh, not winning races by banging each other off the circuit it's been very clean and very respectful at all times from what I've seen uh, Levant straight now so Burnfight is going to potentially a hyper move, I'm going to say that, and then, F, uh, and then Fraser goes defensive. As, uh, as we see 300 horsepower combined of German mini power drifting around Levant corner. Bert Feist 
arguably gets the better line out there. We'll get the better traction going into the chicane, but doesn't get the position. You've got to back out of that one again. Does Fraser tap the chicane? I think he does. But again, has to take that defensive line going into uh, going into turn one. Let's just go back and see if the race behind is hotting up. Burt Fryer, sorry, not Burt Fryer. I'm so used to saying Burt Fryer because when I see someone go off track, it's usually him. Um, Cutler and Freddo still very close together. Not much to separate these guys either. They've been um, they've been quite close all race long. Banana split's just fallen away from that fight a little bit, but he's going to be happy with fifth currently. Uh, Scar Wars has got himself up to sixth, so he's got past Jake Carty, uh, who's currently in a bit of a battle with Joanne. Let's see what happened there. Uh, so it just looks like uh, Joanna got a better run out of the chicane. Um, Jake just had to concede the place. Yeah, these guys are still quite close. Do you want to just get rid of his penalty? Don't know what he picked the penalty up for. I don't see it. Typically, if you get a penalty, it's for a slight corner cut. It's very hard to avoid them from time to time at tracks like this. So we've got that. And then we've got NGO Happy chasing them both down. And Big Bad Bud. Um, at the minute, just enjoying this day out. But don't forget, the reverse grid race is up next. And he's going to be on pole for that one. Meanwhile, Fraser still leads from Burt Fry. Just again, less than half a second separates these guys at the end of the penultimate lap of the race. Almost inseparable. And fantastic racing on show as well. Uh, Cutler's pulled over a little bit of a gap to Fredo now, who's uh, starting to come under pressure now from Banana Split. He's going to have to start thinking about a defensive approach rather than the attacking one. Uh, Scar Wars is starting to build up a bit of a gap to Jake Carty in seventh. And then Joe Winner, um, after having conceded that place to Jake Carty at some point in the lap, uh, he's now going to have to go on the attack again. That uh, guy's picking up shortcut penalties there as well. So coming back up to the action at the front, then these guys getting real tasty. Uh, again, into the Levant corner, uh, Fraser has to go defensive. He's going to send Burnt the long way around, so it blocks off the apex, stops him from making the early turning that he wants to do to get the exit speed. But now, uh, Burnt Fire's got all the um, all the time in the world to eye up a move. Let's go on board with Burnt Fire, see what he does here. So Fraser sort of goes defensive, sort of blocks off that move to the right-hand side, forces Burnt Fire into the wide line. Got to take a little bit of the grass as well. So getting on the brakes nice and early, he's going to go for the undercut, which you can do here if you get a good exit out of here, but Fraser just manages to get that done instead. Into the chicane, they both go nice and clean. Benfire just can't get on the power as early as he wants to because there's a car in his way. So, um, very difficult to get a move done there. Um, you can get one done on the exit, but you've, you've, you're actually too close. As the guys enter the final lap. So, I can't know. We've got uh, F12 time 127.6 as his best lap time so far. Benfire's clapped in a 127.5 as we stick. Let's. Uh, in fact, that was the last. I think that was the last lap that they've just done. To be fair, uh, they've built up nearly a 20 second gap to this man, uh, Cutler. He's uh, 19 seconds behind the fight now, Fredo. Uh, he's just a second behind Cutler, uh, but he has built up a nice eight second gap to Banana Split, who's taking up fifth, sixth is our friend Jake Carty, seventh is Joanna. Eighth currently is Scar Wars, who's now conceded eighth to NGR Happy. And Big Bad Bud rounds up the top ten. We're going to resume the fight, though, with these guys. Um, Faze is going to concede the place to Burt Fry in the last lap. Is it the last gun? He's going to hang it round the outside. It'd be a fantastic move if he makes it done. I'd love to replay this, but I think the action just going to carry on going on. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to skip back to that one. So sort of as F12 manages to win. Or oh, does he? Or oh, does he? Is Burt Fry coming? Is he going to have the move? Oh, that's a photo finish. 0 0.026 seconds behind. Let's just see if I can have a look at that um, gap. So we've got uh, his phrase who's hanging it around the outside. Just manages to hang it. That just doesn't. That means Burt Fry can't take the full length of the circuit. Has to get on the brakes for the chicane. Goes for the exit speed. Manages to get it this time because he's got that gap. 
and it just closes out to what can only be described as a photo finish and that's as representative of the sort of race that we've been treated to today ladies and gents it's an absolute treat so um massive congratulations to fraser uh, who wins and very narrowly though to burnt fry in second so both these guys can uh, can be part of the race they've put on today Cutler brings home an absolutely solid third position with Freddo should be, should be really pleased with the race he's done today, absolutely clean clinical uh, in fifth Banana Split as well seems to have had a good sprint race, going in fifth um, Jake Carr, he's got himself in sixth position as well um, so Jake, nice and solid from yourself mate with Joanna in seventh happy in eighth don't know if he's going to be happy about that Scar Wars in ninth and Big Bob Blood in tenth still making his way around so there's the results confirmed then fantastic racing right oh, I'm going to take a breather now <coughs> wow is all I'm going to say um, I told you didn't I I told you that these Mini Coopers produce some absolutely stonking racing that is proof. That is proof of why I bloody well love commentating on this little championship because that's that was just a fantastic little battle. And I'm gonna be sorry to the other eight people in the lobby that didn't get as much coverage as I probably should have given them. But that battle at the front, if you're watching this stream, go back and watch that. It was great. Um, yeah, Fraser, I'm um, I'm gonna agree with you, total respect throughout it was it was superb i'm gonna actually give you guys an, an official congratulations in the chat because it's not official unless i you uh, one minute congrats phenomenal race thanks for the clean race nice you're fast that was a close one f12 perfect spot on um i bet you're glad that one we commentated you two didn't you 0.026 um yeah i've never the closest i've ever seen a race finish apart from this was 0 0.080 um that was in the pro lobby for the gt3s from bb and field the other week <clears throat> that's the closest i've seen um this is this beats it by quite some margin i genuinely thought you were gonna get him another 10 meters and you'd have had him another 10 meters just the thing my analysis of that and if you watch the watch the footage back i think a lot before i'd said um that what burnt fire was doing was just getting too close into the chicane it was sort of compromising your exit speed on the way out because you were getting two things were happening so you were getting a little bit of outwash from the car ahead so you weren't getting the natural sort of aero um that the air provides and um you were not able you were naturally not able to get on front because there was just a car in the way so as long as you had sort of two temps gap you were able to do that um and whether you intended to do it or not that's exactly what you did into the last corner you just got that run out um yeah fantastic race guys um genuinely really good fun to watch so um we're now going to reset uh we're now going to go to uh a 20 lap is it 20 lap? I'll have a look. <coughs> reverse grid, 20 laps. Yeah, so reverse grid. So just a reminder that we've got tyre wear at 10 and fuel at 8. Um, the guys won't be given a full tank of fuel either. They'll only be get, they'll only get 70 litres and with 8 times fuel, that that's not getting you. A, yeah, you're not going a full race distance on that. Um, so yeah, there's, there's another way. If you thought, yeah, there's another one. No, we just had that. There's another one coming up. This one's got a strategy and everything. Um, usually a bit more difficult to commentate on as well because um, A, I've got no water. One minute, I'm going to reach for my gym bag because I've got some crappy old water in there. Let me get it. One minute. I'm well prepared, me out. Um, do, 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 do. Have I got my water bottle in here? Have I, have I, have I? Uh, be filled with tape and stuff. Uh, get rid of that. Mm. So, guys, if you're watching this bit, insightful commentary. Um, it's just some bloke in his room fumbling about. Not like that. Ugh. Have I got my water bottle? Fuck yeah, there it is. Oh, and I've got a good litre in there as well. Fantastic. Right, so. Um, let's have a look at the comments. Uh, Fraser Smith loved that. Too scared to bin it. Spare spaces. 
last corner. I thought she was to defend the last corner. We got a run on me to the back straight, so I couldn't block. Yeah, you're right, Fraser. He, he, he got that run in. Um, uh, cuddles. Constant question every lap. Fair, mate, Stephen, fair enough. If you couldn't do that, that's absolutely fine. There's no pressure on you to take that. Ultimately, guys, this is um, uh, this is for, this is for fun. Um, these lads do this as a hobby, so there's nothing, you know, there's nothing official on this. Let's have a look. See what's going on. Um. <clears throat> Alright, so if you're watching, like, get your plaudits in for the race we've just had. Um, get ready for the race we're about to have. Uh, so we reverse grid them. So the results from last time, and I forgot to save that replay. Will it save? Yes, I'm going to save it. Um, so what you see here was the results from the last time out. So actually, guys, watching the stream, it's come out at 0. 0. 0. Sorry, it's 0. 0. 0.021 second gap so very 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 close um so we're gonna see in the next lap big bad bud will start uh, on the first row of the grid with scar wars right next to him uh happy and winner will be on the second lap, second row jake carty and banana split will be on the third with freddo and cutler occupying the fourth and the um the battling duo of uh burnt fry and f1 f124 uh, are gonna be right at the back uh, so it's going to introduce a little bit of um, strategy as well. So some of the guys are going to change tyres. So what we'll what we'll sort of do is tr is try and cover that um, when we discuss what's going on in the actual race itself. Um, try and see if we can figure out anyone's strategy. It's hard though because you you can't tell if the fuel saving a lot of the time in these cars because they sound crap. Any I mean not crap but slow. Uh, auto track. Let me. I'll tell you what, if I entered... Oh wait, no, I don't want to enter. Um, if I spectate, that'll do me. Spot. There we go. Um, yeah, so... You're going to have a lot of the strategy in this. Last time out we saw a lot of people going for like an audacious pit stop strategy with uh, a lot of extreme fuel saving. Um, you spend a lot of time at Goodwood on full throttle. Uh, so if you do try and do that here, you're going to have to do a lot of lifting, coasting in corners, which upsets the balance of the car. It's, yeah, it's, it's difficult. You're not going to get it. To, you're not going to get it absolutely bang on on this one. So, wonder why them. Going to get race two going any minute now. Okay, so. <coughs> Reverse grid time, ladies and gents. Always introduces some fun racing because the guys at the back are going to want to get through the pack. So keep on tuning in. It's basically a grassy Tokyo. Yeah, you're right. So Big Bad Bud's going to get, uh, hopefully going to get the run into Magic first. But he's going to have Scar Wars, Happy and Joanna chasing him down like a, a pack of ferocious weasels. Big Bad Bug gets a good start, just get bogged down a little bit. That's going to give Scar Wars and Happy the run on him slightly. Uh, going further back, it looks like Cutler seems to get a good start along with Burnt Flight as well. Uh, Big Bad Bug does manage to get, to get first into Madrick and doesn't look to be any major changes of order at this minute in time. Going back into the midfield. Everyone there, look at that side. So, a bunch of minis. What's the plural for a bunch of minis? I don't quite know. So, Big Bad Bud then going to leave in St. Mary's for the first time. He's going to have Scar Wars challenge him. Scar Wars is going to go take the outside here, hoping for the inside line for the tight left hander. Doesn't get it, sticks to his bumper instead. Uh, again, the guy's keeping it clean as best they can. Uh, it looks like Happy's off in the grass. That's going to put my F12s on. Absolutely, F12 and burn fire again. They've had absolutely stonking few corners. I've missed that, lad. Sorry, I've been concentrating on the guys up ahead. Um, all the while, Scar has got himself up into first position as we see it. Uh, but Big Bad Bud is going to want his position back. But Joe is going to have something to say about that. So let's watch one there from the perspective of, uh, of Fraser. He's fought his way back in just about five corners from the back, from the pretty much the very back of the grid. Let's see if they almost get through the chicane. Hopefully, in north, they do so far. Let's 
go back through the field. Cutler's down in seventh. He could do with recovering his race a little bit. That's that fellow's left the room. I don't know if that was a disconnect or what. I didn't catch it, so it's it's hard to cover it in the first few laps. Scar was at this stage pulling out a bit of a gap now, as you can see to the guys behind. Looks like he's getting a little bit feisty between there. Some big bad blood and F12 involved in that one. Let's tune in and see what's going on. Uh, so. Sort of still involved in that fight, mate. To be fair, he's, uh, he's, he's not going away. Yeah, same. So, Fellows has come into the chat saying he's, he's suffering from a little bit of lag. So, I uh, decided to bounce instead of ruining anyone's race. Do you win it? It's win the race so far. He's, um, you know, he may not be winning the damn thing, but um, uh, he's got himself a really good, really good start. So Scar Wars leads us away, building up to nearly a two second gap now. Jowena, um, he is currently in second, but being absolutely hounded by Burnt Flight. Um, let's see if he makes a move into the Levant. No, it's not Levant, this is it, this one's Woodcut. Does make, does make a move into Woodcut, nice and tidy, good on the brakes. And does run it a little bit wide, but I'll give Jowena the run into the chicane. He's not going to go for it either way, but again... Yeah, just plays his take that nice and cleanly. Meanwhile, Fraser's uh, going to be trying to do the same thing a little bit further back. Meanwhile, Scar Wars trying to run away with it a little bit. Really good then, just sort of try and get my bearings and just see where we all are. Um, Big Bad Bud has gone down a few places from first position. Doesn't seem like he's enjoying his day out in the mini at this stage right now. Um, happy in six with Cutler in seventh, and we've got Banana Split in eighth. Um, Jake Carty, I don't know if he's on an alternative strategy or what, um, but he's um, hopefully he can make a little bit of time back in the pits. Uh, looking back from Scar Wars, then he's, he's he's lost a lot of his lead so far. Uh, so he has got a, he has got a very hungry burnt fry chasing him down. Looks like Fraser's managed to get past Joanna as well. Um, so Scar Wars right now has got a lot of work to do to keep these guys behind him. Uh, but we did see from last week that he's he's got pace and he can uh, he can certainly put a fight up when he absolutely needs to. So let's see if that comes to fruition. the very bad news Sean but Jake is a little bit off the pace right now these minis are not easy to drive though um, they, they, they seemingly just want to throw you off the track I mean they're all right to drive on the road into the shops and everything else um, as, as we see Burnt Fly get past Scar Wars into the lead and gets the move completely but does he manage to go oh I bet, he's, bet he needs a new pair of underpants now let's have a look sorry Sean I'll come back to you in just a second need to have a quick look at this so we see Burnt Fly does manage to make the move on Scar Wars there. But too narrow. Too narrow coming into, coming into St. Mary's. Just taps a rear wheel on there and new pants for Burnt Fly are going to be required. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's that's demoted him down a little bit. Let's um, let's just go on board. Not on board. But let's just have a look at how Jake's getting on. He might be doing an alternative strategy. Um, so, like we've covered before, they've got quite, ex not extreme, but severe fuel and tyre wear um, if Jake can manage his fuel and tyres correctly um, he'll be able to claw back a lot of that time because uh, we saw look in race one we saw the, the guy's got pace and he can um, he can put a fire when he needs to meanwhile just flicking through the grid burnt fire and F12 again having a bit of a having a bit of a battle um, it's enabling Big Bad Bud to catch back up to him uh, Cutler's got some work to do to get onto the back of that fight though, so this is where pack number two sort of forms uh, with Cutler uh, and Happy with Banana Split not too far behind, currently just just uh, losing out to Joe Winner. 
Uh, so it looks like Joanna just gets a move done into. Let's have a look. That's Madrick, isn't it? Yeah, he's got a move done into Madrick. Fantastic. So. Looks like he's hotting up at the front again. We'll just stay with this battle at the front for a little bit because this seems to be where the action is. Uh, I'm just going to cheat and have a look at tyre wear. Let's see how they're getting on for tyres and fuel. So. So Burnt Fire's a loser on fuel. Left towards managed to save a little bit more than him right now. Um, but does F Tor manage to make a move on Scar Wars? Scar Wars defends with all his might. Tokyo drifts that many as hard as he can around that corner. Does manage to keep the place fantastic defending from him, to be fair. He's not letting these guys have it easy. Uh, all the while, that's, that is letting Big Bad Bud back into the fight. So hopefully he can get back involved. Meanwhile, Burnt Fire's giving, giving Fraser a bit of a hard time. Um, I don't know if these guys have realised it's best off to work together to catch Scar Wars and then have the fight later on in the race, but I think they just enjoy battling. So it's just right on board with Burnt Fire. In fact, let's just... This is a, probably a better camera angle. Right up the chuff of that many. So that's like, that's like a transit van driver on M25, that is. That's, that's, that's the full Audi distance, I think. So coming in St Mary seems to be Burnt Fire's favourite place to make a move. Looks like we've had a little bit of contact. Let's just see what happened there. Let's take the external camera then. So it looks like Scar Wars just gets himself a little bit out of shape. Does he manage to clip F12? He does, I think. Uh, it's, he kept it. I'll give you credit there, mate. You bloody well kept that. I, lesser people would be dead by now. Um, uh, so, like I said though, it just sort of capitulates in that St Mary's is a, is a difficult corner. Um, it will chuck any car off its line. Um, Scar Wars can do F12 a favour here and keep Burnt Fry at bay for a lap or two, just let him catch back up. Burnt Fry again, is he able to get the run out in that corner? No, not quite. Uh, but can he make a move down into Madrid? Meanwhile, F12 pits. Uh, I don't know if we've got damage on, so is this this is uh, a change of tyres and a top up on fuel, so probably a little bit of a strategy call on here. Uh, Big Bad Bud also picks with low fuel. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of them stay out. Joanna dives into the pits. Uh, let's have a check on Jake's fuel. Uh, Jake's marginal, we'll probably see him diving in in just a second as well. Does Jake dive into the pits? Looks like he is doing. Yeah, fantastic. So then, going back to the start, Scar Wars, who is still defending to Burnfire. Looks like Burnfire absolutely minimal on fuel now. Is um, will he make it to? Will he make it to the pits? Let's just stay on board with this because that doesn't look like he's got a lot of fuel left at all. Scar Wars having to go defensive. Loves drifting that car. I think he's just he's got a drift set up on it instead. <coughs> Looks like a bit of fire is gonna make it to the pits. Unfortunately I was kinda of secretly hoping he'd run out of fuel and I could laugh at him, but I think he's made it. It's above guys go in, but pretty much on no fuel. Uh, this should give Cutler a chance to catch back up. Uh, Cutler's probably gonna have to dive in as well, but he's done a fantastic job of saving his tyres. Um, so we'll talk about tyres then. Uh, most guys going for um, the super softs. Uh, Happy's took a set of mediums. Gonna have to dive in the pits as well. Uh, F12's on the racing super softs. Uh, back up into third, he's now got, let's see where he comes out. Uh, so, because of the early pit, he's come out in a little bit of traffic. Has managed to jump burnt fire though, so uh, the undercut has worked. Good strategy call. So Fraser's now come out one and a half seconds clear of Burnt Fry and he's, um, yeah, he's going to have slightly older tyres but probably not enough to make too much of a difference. Meanwhile Scar Wars pits from the lead. Uh, let's see if the guys behind, where are they now? So Cutler is, yeah he's going to come out. going to come out in plenty of time I think looking at it. I don't know 
what's happening to his car though? What's happened there? I'm sure he was in the pits a minute ago. Right, did I, am I imagining things or did that just happen? He's come out with a full tank of fuel. Oh, I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled. I genuinely don't know if I'm seeing anything. I'm not going to sleep tonight now. That's terrifying. Meanwhile, the, the two guys in the lead, Cutler and Banana Split. <coughs> Probably going to have to pit this lap. Looking at it, Cutler's definitely going to have to pit this lap. Let's see if Banana Split follows him. No, Cutler stays out. Brave move. I don't know if he's got a, I don't know if he's got a lap's worth of fuel in that car yet. But he's still, he's still tonking in half decent lap times. Uh, Fraser's only a couple of seconds behind him, so it looks like when uh, these guys do pit, which is probably going to have to be on the next lap, uh, probably trying in a very audacious one stop, he will um, take net first position with um, Burnt Fire charging away behind him. Uh, big bad bud. Yeah, Scar Wars has left the room. Um, <coughs> I'm going to drop a little bit of a message. Yeah, I don't know what happened, mate. I'm going to message the group chat and just see... Um, I'm literally messaging him in the group chat. Um, he was in the pits. I saw the car sort of jolt about, and then he came out of the pits. And he he he, he, he literally he, it genuinely was half the track because he come out on St Mary's. So, God knows. Meanwhile, Cutler is being a moving barricade to um, <laughs> to, to F12. It's like banana split, so it gives him a little bit of a nudge. Let's have a look and just see what happens there. Nah, I don't hear the heat after all. It has to go off roading a little bit. Probably not, not too much harm in that. So let's try and get the move done. Oh, is that a nudge? What happened there? Manages to make the escape road. Let's just have a look. So banana split just manages to lose it on the on the grass at the side. Fortunately, uh, Fraser manages to take the escape road uh, and not lose too much time. So uh, after those guys. Do dive in the pits. Um, Fraser can resume the lead of the race, but all that battling has cost him time to Burnt Fry, who was one and a half seconds back and is now just uh, four temps behind him. Uh, third position currently is Big Bad Bud, uh, who's definitely going to have to pit again. Looking at his fuel, uh, we've got Cutler in fifth who's just been absolutely warp speed overtaken by Joanna and Banana split in 6th position with Happy in 7th and Jake Carty who has pitted looking at things yeah he's got a pit lap in there I think he pitted lap, lap 6 looks like he's going for the 2 stop um, probably surprised in that case he's not taking the super soft tyre because he probably could afford to do it with those stints um, but it looks like he's putting in some pretty solid lap times. Um, so F12's put in his extended lead to Burnt Fry by about he's on quicker tyres, Burnt Fry's took soft. Um yeah, he's extended lead, but again, Burnt Fry's just managed to claw a little bit of, a bit of that back. Uh, Big Bad Bud is in a little bit of a race of his own currently. He's got 20 seconds ahead and uh, 9 seconds behind, so no one to bother him right now. Uh, Joanna just managing to make his great escape from the clutches of Cutler, uh, who is going to be hoping to, to get back in the back in the swing of things. Uh, Banana Split is being hounded by Happy. Let's have a look. Let these guys fight it out. Split and defending from NGR Happy does Happy make a move. Now he goes to fill his mirrors but doesn't decide to make it stick in the end. Wonders whether an off-roading option is going to be better, but it's probably not in this case. Uh, meanwhile, <coughs> again, these guys, will you just stop having battles? I can't give anyone else airtime if you guys keep fighting like this. Burnfire does officially get the position before the corner, but he's going to have to rescind it as we go around. Will he get the uh, Will he get the 
Well, they get the drive out the corner now. Again, probably probably about the right gap. Does make a little bit of contact with the chicane as he enters, so that's going to cost him time. And Fraser, for now, is safe and can breathe a small sigh of relief. Let's just see if Scar Wars has replied. In the no, he hasn't, not yet. Sorry, I was just checking the group chat to see if it uh, if it responded. So, uh, with 12 laps in, we've got eight drivers still in the race. F12, who are F12, well, these guys basically had an absolute barnstorming race one, and it looks like they're trying to repeat that feat in race two. They're pretty similar on fuel and tyres. Um, I'm not quite sure um, that they'll make it to the end on these uh, on these tyres. Sorry, this fuel. Um, time will tell. Neither of them seem to be bothered about saving it. Um, big bad bud, similar position fuel and tyres wise. Uh, it seems to be going around quite well. Uh, certainly going to be happy with his, uh, his performance so far. I know he did start on uh, pretty much the, the top of the grid but you got to finish and uh, you got to remember in the sprint race he finished stone dead last so um, he's got to be tough with, with how he's performing in this one so far. Um, Joe Winner, again, uh, pretty much where he started at this minute in time, but has been involved in a couple of battles throughout, uh, throughout the race so far, so he's, he's going to be happy to, as it stands, have got the better of this man, Cutler, uh, who's currently leading from uh, NGO Happy. Uh, happy and Banana Split still having a little bit of a go of things um, for sixth place. Let's just follow this one for a little bit. So fed up of giving Fraser and Bert Fry all the airtime because they're absolutely kicking each other's teeth in. So let's see how they go. Uh, again, Banana Split just gets his gets his nose out just to put Happy off. It's kind of a little bit of a psychological tactic. Like you want the person to think about you and not the breaking points. Um, if you can successfully manage to do that, nice lap from Happy. That one twenty eight seven. Um, you want the person to think about where you're going rather than where they're breaking and where they're meant to be turning in. It's, it's a tactic I use quite a lot, um, usually to quite dramatic effect. Uh, it ends up with people spinning off the track and all sorts. Uh, so we've got Big Bad Buds in Ava. What is he had a, is he had an off? He has he's had a 150 lap. I oh, know he's, he's pitted. My apologies. Yeah, he's on an outlap. He's pitted. thought he had, had an off there, mate. My apologies. Um, so looks like he's fueled to the end. And Jake Carter. I pronounced that a little bit posh then. Jake Carter. <laughs> Hello. And uh, don't look like he can make it to the end on the fuel that he's got. So he'll probably have to come in once more. Meanwhile, the strategy calls are coming underway. So, Fraser coming in for a little bit more fuel. Will he manage to get the undercut on burnt fire. What I'm going to do boys is I'm just going to hide that because what I don't want you doing. One minute, how do I hide that? Hide to the hood. F9. Ooh, where's my keyboard? There we go. Get away. Um, so show race information 11 and show player information 12. Well, no, not that one. Can I do that? No. And F9. Bottom. We'll just keep it in this for the time being. What I don't, what I don't want is these guys to know each other's fuel levels and all that sort of stuff. If I can avoid it. So let's have a quick flick through. So we'll burn if I pit this lap. We'll see. We'll keep an eye out for if he dives in or not. Meanwhile, um, Fraser's on his out lap. He's going to want to set a hot one. Um, do you want to only 12 seconds back with a? Uh, it's less than a pit stop. Uh, Cutler, I think, has managed to close that gap. Uh, Happy and Banana Split still having a little bit of a ding-dong of things at the back. Sorry, uh, for, for fifth and sixth. Uh, Big Bad Bud after that pit stops down to seventh, but a lot of the guys ahead of him have got a pit yet, so um, he's going to hope to recover a lot of those places. Um, and Jake Carty, currently in eighth. Let's see if he can change that between now and the end of the race. So Bert Fry does pit, goes onto the super soft tyre, the faster tyre comes out. Is it close? How's it going to go? Where's Fraser? Fraser does come out. 
unfortunately. I was going to say the undercut hasn't worked then, but these two again still. What, what happened there, actually? Let's have a look. So I did burnt five a little bit of an off. Let's go back a little bit further. Intercept now as we go. No, nothing, nothing dramatic's happening with these guys at this minute in time. Let's see if that battling recommences. Meanwhile, looking at the map, doesn't really appear to be too many battles going on, but we'll have a flick through the grid. Me, uh, meanwhile, uh, flick through the grid in a minute. Sorry. F12 does go for the move, does go for the move after the Levant, he's got all the straight now to pull out a little bit of a gap, get, he's got the inside line so he's going to have the uh, he's gonna have the position for the double apex right hander, that is Woodcock, gets on the brakes a little bit later than Burt Fry does, is that going to compromise his exit speed, no he manages to hold it really well actually coming into the exit of that corner, and through the chicane they both go, nice and tidy, We'll better try to do his classic getting the power out. Looks like he does have a little bit of a better exit, but not enough to make a move just this minute in time. Let's follow these guys. We've got a couple of laps left. Um, closing this one out. Uh, not too long to go as Joanna picks from third. That's going to promote Cutler at this minute in time to fourth. Sorry, to third from fourth position. And banana split, so I was going to say thank you very much. I'll have that position. Uh, the battle between them and uh, sorry, banana split and happy seems to have calmed down a little bit right now. Uh, we'll see if that resumes towards the end of the race. Joanna does go on to the sticky super soft tyre, so we'll be able to go full hog towards the end of it. Let's see if Big Bad Bud comes out in front. Currently not, so um, at the minute. Bad Bud has lost that a little bit in the pit stop phase. And we'll see if Jake has to come back in again in a minute. Meanwhile, battle for first yet again rages on with Fraser just one and a half temps ahead of Burt Fries to come into the um, double apex right hander that is the keep forgetting the name, I think it's Woodcut in it, yeah, it's Woodcut, into, imagine it's the name Corner Chicane, will Burnfire get a drive out now, does he want to get the move done this time before the last corner, that would probably be advisable, uh, that if you want to get um, get an overtake performed, probably advisable to do it before the line, <coughs> if you see that little black screen, it's just me connecting my companion app for my phone, so this is a look back that let me just try and go on board. Uh, and it's from Hood. Yeah, there. I'm pressing the wrong one. There we go. So we'll go on the rear view camera from F2. So I'm still getting. I told you I was going to be rusty, didn't I? I did warn you. Um, I've got on the onboard camera now. And we'll just have a look back. from the perspective of the leader. Nice. If you're still watching this, drop a little message in who you're cheering for, what do you think the outcome's going to be. I think there's somewhat weird with this game, you know, because Happy's just pitted in like six and he's currently in first position, according to, the, according to this. This is a bit messed up. I don't know if it's a glitch on this track or what. Don't get me wrong, these guys are going to pass him in the pit stops anyway, but we'll see what happens with that later on. F12's got to go defensive into the first corner then, because Burnt Fry's all over him like a fat kid and a cupcake, not going to let him go. We know what Burnt Fry's favourite move is, though, so come, he's just trying to fill his mirrors with mini. <laughs> I don't think that's quite going to work. That's not quite what I meant. You're sacrificing your own speed there, mate, but feel free. So, Burnt Fire's favourite move uh, of all time today has been the dive bomb into St Mary's. Let's see if he goes for it. He thinks about it, but backs out. Probably not the right. Fraser does defend that one quite well. He was close enough to go for it, but Fraser defended it like a boss. Uh, 
we've got a couple of laps to go now. We'll just have a flick through the pack and see how everyone else is getting on. So Cutler's pretty much got a solid third position at the minute. Banana Split is chasing him down in fourth. Uh, I don't know if any of these guys have yet to pit. We'll see. Um, we've got Joanna in fifth position. Uh, Big Bad Bud, who uh, did lose out a little bit in this race. Um, right, we're going to watch this because I wonder if that pit glitch is going to happen to Happy as well. Let's see. Jake Carr in 8th. So what was happening with Scar Wars was he was getting lag. So let's just keep an eye out and see if a car magically appears at St Mary's and we'll know it's that. We'll know there's a bug as well. Oh, it's a shame that because the, the Happy was involved in quite a few decent, decent battles. So hopefully it's not a bug and it's just something that we can resolve quite quickly. Uh, let's have a look. Keep my finger on the replay option. I think Happy is stuck in the pits. Yeah, I, I agree, mate. I mean, bloody hell, look at this. If that ain't stuck in the pits, I don't know what is. Yeah. Yeah, he's stuck in it. All day long. Yeah, and he's not letting me change camera angles now. So he's stuck me. There we go. I have to go back to control then because it won't let me change camera angles. So, um, welcome to Gran Turismo Sport. Seen it happen in other streams. Is it a stream thing then? Is it a problem that I'm contributing to? Because if it is, I don't want that. Or is it just a general uh, Gran Turismo Sport, the best online multiplayer in the world glitch? Let me know. So, uh, these guys now come on to the final lap. So, again, they've, they've been stuck together, so no, no, it's not me, thank God for that, I'm going to say. I'll be, have to, I'll be having to apologise if I've in any way contributed to that. GT Sport glitch, one of many, one of many GT Sport glitches, they seem to love them at the minute. Not a, not a patch update comes out without something else breaking. So again, I, you know what, I'm just, I, I don't want to commentate over this because I feel like I'm kind of ruining it. But this is just absolutely fantastic to watch. It's what I love about spec racing, because they're in the same cars. They're plainly very well matched on ability. Look at that dive bomb by Bert Fry. Is he going to make it stick? Yeah, he's fantastic. Fraser's got himself a little bit out of shape. Let's have another quick look at that one from the perspective of... Uh, yeah, F12's got himself a little bit out of shape. But he's managed to get himself back in the mix. He's got the right line now. Burt is going to have to really pull out all the stops in order to keep his position here. He's got a, he's got a Jake Carty to help him out. Jake gets out of the way. I ain't playing no part of that, my friend. Fraser's got the inside line. Will do it. Will Burt Fry go for the cutback? He's got a better line, in my opinion, going into this. This again is going to be tight for the lead. They're separated by less than a tenth of a second. Burt Fry this time hasn't got as good of an exit. Fraser gets on the grass. How close is it going to be this time? It looks like Fraser's got it by a bit more of a margin, but again, exceptionally close um, at the end of race two. So after 20 laps, less than a tenth separates these two guys. Um, Fantastic racing again, boys, and congratulations to uh, Fraser for winning both rounds today. But he's he's been tested thoroughly um, by by Bert Fry on all occasions. Uh, Cutler now comes through to finish his final lap. A uh, good race for Cutler. Started a little bit further down the field in the reverse grid. Uh, managed, to put, uh, managed to put a couple of fights up and get himself back in there. Uh, Banana Split's been involved in some really good battling today as well. He'll be happy with how today's gone. Joe Winner. Uh, one place down from where we started, I think. And uh, the person I feel sorry for today, I don't think the race, the race quite worked out for him, is this man, Big Bad Bud. Um, unlucky for him he was sort of up there in the mix at one point but I think pit strategy just screwed him over and Jake Carty um, not had a fantastic second race for Jake he did have a good first race um, so don't be disheartened we all have bad days 
There's your results, ladies and gentlemen. So less than a tenth of a second separated Fraser and Burnt Fry. As we watch Fraser collects his trophy in front of the admiring crowds and photographers at Goodwood. Um, yeah, right. What can I say? What can I say? You've just witnessed an absolutely fantastic show of racing. Goodwood has produced. Um, Minis have produced again some superb racing um, between a bunch of um, very respectful fast drivers. Um, two racers, 30 laps in total. Uh, probably a combined horsepower on the field of about four but a superb set of races. I think you will all agree. Um, congratulations to um, um, all podium finishers um, of this weekend, but a big thank you to everyone who took part as well. The race wouldn't be the race without everyone who's got involved. So um, uh, an absolutely huge thank you to everyone who's, who's come today. I think uh, a couple of people avoided it because it were Goodwood, but um, I hope those people I rewatched this and watched that race and thought, you know what, I could have... Um, I could have been in, been involved in that as well. Um, yeah, uh, absolutely stunning. So that's pretty much going to conclude round number nine. So as we do that, Fraser's going to extend his lead at the top of the championship. Um, let's have a look at the, the standings. And so yeah, Fraser was already 13 points ahead of Cutler. Um, he's going to extend. Um, he's going to extend that further. Um, a little bit as we uh, as we progress on. Um, I'm not too sure what the next track is. Let me see if I can find out. Um, just stand by a minute. I haven't got that information to hand, but you'll see me go live anyway, so you'll keep an eye on it. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Um, I th I've not got any any words that can sum up what we've just witnessed. To be honest, um, I'm not going to pretend like it was, um, you know. In fact, I am going to pretend because it was bloody fantastic. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, watching that sort of um, degree of racing on show from the entire field. Um, you know, a circuit like Goodwood can produce at times um, an absolute horror show. Because it's narrow and there's grass and, you know, the odd person did get the odd nudge in here and there. And we did cover a little bit of that, but I, I genuinely don't think a single bit of it was ill-intended. Um, and yeah, I'm 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 fully impressed with what I've seen tonight. So I want to thank everyone who's raced uh, for racing, getting involved. We'll just quit out the lobby, and we'll. Um, if I didn't save the replay, um, if any of you boys saved that second race replay, can you share it so I can use it for thumbnailery? In fact, I don't don't worry about it because I've saved the first race. I can always rewatch that. So let's just quit out of this. Um, cheers, Burnt Fry. I'll, I'll probably just use a thumbnail from the first one, to be fair. Um, I am Fraser, mate. I'm absolutely just lost for words. I can't... Um, I've been involved in races like that before, and you sort of your brain at the end of it all, almost has to figure out where you went wrong, even when you've won, because you're that close. It's that fine of a margin. You, your brain's just going, I can't work this out. Why, why is this person been literally up my chuff the entire race um yeah so the first race 10 laps um exact same tires exact same car exact same settings literally pure and simple down to the driver less than a tenth in it in fact it was yeah it was well like eight thousandths of a second um, and then you throw strategy into the mix and double the race length and throw pit stops and reverse grids and all that malarkey into it and they're still less than a tenth apart um, I'm blown away by that to be fair I thought it was absolutely fantastic um, it's uploading the chips mate um, yeah that's that's it really um, I'm going to sort of cut the stream off here uh, no need for me to uh, ramble on any more than I have done I've got to remember I've got work in the morning I'm going to go and make a thumbnail for the video and all that sort of stuff now um, or I might have to do it at practice for my GT3 race on Wednesday I might do that so thank you for tuning in um, love the support as always love the um, communication through the races love the comments and everything else um, thank you for getting involved thank you for watching 
thank you for the guys that raced. Uh, ultimately gave up their time on a weeknight to do that. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Good night.